turbos, off-road ability, jumping, and big trucks. Today we're talking about Ford's Raptor lineup and how that's kind of changed throughout the years. So let's start with the F-150 Raptor. This is going to be the first iteration, the first version of any sort of Raptor product from Ford. And they started off naming it the Ford SVT Raptor. Um, they eventually dropped that SVT portion. And what that means is SVT is going to stand for Special Vehicle Team. And that's going to be Ford's little division that they're going to use, um, although they have used throughout the years to kind of designate that this is going to be something fancy, something super spicy. And if you remember, you probably saw it or noticed it when they first started doing it with the Mustangs and they made the SVT Cobras. On those, they'd pretty much slap superchargers on a standard Cobra, change the suspension a little bit, put some fancy badges on it, and call it an SVT Cobra, which is pretty cool. I mean, that, that makes sense. So the F-150, it started off, you had the option of a 6.2 liter V8 or the 5.4 V8. And the 6.2, it came in right around 411 horsepower, something like that. And then the 5.4 version um, was right around that 350 mark, I believe. And I think these are my favorite Raptors. Uh, it might just be because of how big of a change it was from the original F-150s. We, we kind of saw the F-150s every day, or at least I did, um, where I'm at in, in the country. Saw the F-150s all the time. You know, it wasn't that big of a deal, but then you saw the Raptor and you knew that it was a Raptor because it had the big, huge fender flares in the front. Um, made it look really, really big, really wide, really bulldogish. Um, and it had a cooler grill, had the little orange lights in the grill because it was a wider vehicle um, than normal. And there's one right there, actually. So. I kind of like the sound of those V8 versions a little better because they did sound meaty. They sound scary. You know, they sounded like what I believe that a Raptor should sound like. You know, an off-road vehicle jumping around, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, I feel like it should be loud and aggressive and mean. But that's just my, that's just my point of view. Let's see. After that, they made a Ranger Raptor and though those are cool I need to drive one of those but what it is it's gonna be a smaller version of the F-150 obviously the Ranger and they're gonna put some turbos on a V6 to make it actually rather quick and of course that that mid travel suspension is not gonna be a long travel suspension like you see on all the Baja trucks where the wheels are bouncing up and down and it's kind of crazy but it will have more suspension travel than normal and they knew you were gonna take this thing off road. That's why they built it the way that they built it. It wasn't just an appearance package to make it seem like it was fast. It wasn't like the Harley Davidson one where they just put a you know supercharged engine into, into an F-150 and called it a day. They did make it um, able to handle some off-road off roading abilities. There's tons of videos out there you can watch of, of people jumping their Raptor, whether it be the F-150 Raptor, whether it be the Ranger Raptor, or whether it be this newest iteration of the Raptor for the Bronco. And I haven't seen one of those yet with my own eyes. Really want to find one. But they are fantastic. I feel like Ford did a really good job with the Bronco. I was kind of nervous, um, especially when I saw some of the original concept versions. Um, the one The Rock was driving in that one show. I forgot what show it was. And he was driving a concept version years ago. And that, I swear that Bronco took, I swear it took a whole decade for that, that thing to go from announcement to actual production. And that version has changed so many different times. But I'm happy it's out now. I think it looks great for what it is. They did a fantastic job. Um, the Raptor version of it is also since it is a Raptor. It's going to be a little bit faster, a little bit more spicy, um, and have that off-road travel of the suspension. Interior-wise, it's not going to be 
that much different than a higher end F-150. It's going to be nice, but it's not going to be anything crazy. Really what you're paying for is going to be the engine. It's going to be the suspension and it's going to be the, the standard four wheel drive. That's kind of what you get. That's kind of what you're expecting to get with those, with those Raptors. What do you guys think? Have you driven a Raptor before in any version? F-150, Ranger, Bronco? How do you feel? I need to drive one still. So I'm waiting. Ah, tell me how you feel about them.